हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज राज शास्त्री फ्रम राज ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग ट्रेस मे एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू होप यूर ऑल डूइंग वेल स्टॉक मार्केट इज वेरी वॉट हेल्प लेट्स टेक लुक एट स्टॉक्स टू अवॉइड सो दीज स्टॉक्स ए गॉट हैवी इन साइडर एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल सेलिंग एंड लेट्स टेक लुक एट सच नेम्स टू अवॉइड सो विद दैट वी गॉट वन कंपनी हियर रॉबिन हुड स्टॉक हैज बिन डाउन सेवेंटी टू परसेंट इन लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स लेट्स टेक लुक एट सच कंपनीज with heavy insider and institutional selling and also not so great fundamentals so with that let's jump in here so we'll start with a quick market update and then let's look at uh, stocks with volume more than 500 million shares heavy insider selling and high inst- institutional selling negative free cash flow that's not a great sign negative earnings and financially weak companies and they also issue more stocks than retire you know all signs of not so great uh, companies we look at such names here and try to avoid them if possible so with that let's jump in here all right so from a market update perspective look market is very very volatile this is one of the reason we have to look at what stocks to avoid so that way we don't get into this whole big drop along with the market you know at this time market does not like negative earnings companies um and uh, companies with a lot of debt that's why you have to avoid such names here look all the broad based indices right from dow jones all the way to russell all are down big time here this is one of the reason we got to select great stocks and if you if you are a etf investor you could buy these etfs like spy qqq um russell which is iwm those are also great ones to buy at these levels here so with that let's jump in here and look at stocks the heavy insider selling look uh, we got here insider selling all these stocks have got heavy heavy insider selling keep a watch here and also in addition institutions are also selling or not doing anything that's why you got to be careful here with such names here and look net margin is negative for many of these companies all of these companies net margin is negative that tells you these companies are not making money uh, there is no profitability at this time and look from a earnings perspective earnings is negative that tells you there is no earnings right now uh, they are really under a uh, red right now from a earning perspective and many of these stocks have got high price to sales as you can see here anywhere you see red uh, that's a too high price to sales ratio or high valuation you got to be very careful with such names and we got here um, overall score here make sure overall score is uh, low all these stocks have got low overall score no need to worry you know below 50 um, you know all these scenarios and look we got buyback yield here this tells you if the stock is uh, if the company is issuing more stock uh, than it's retiring this tells you all these companies are issuing more stock than retire which is not a good sign they're diluting their share count as you can see here top of the list aqb here they're diluting share count big time as you can see here and many of these companies have got high debt load and they're paying a decent amount of uh, you know um, interest rate on their debt look we got two companies here axnx and odns look both these companies are paying 15% uh, interest rate on their debt here uh, sometimes it's not great debt here but still they're paying high interest rate and look free cash flow is negative that tells you these companies at the end of the day they are not uh, not free cash flow positive free cash flow negative you know a lot of negatives here that's why you got to be careful so if it was a year or so ago you know we didn't worry about these things we always looked at uh, sales growth here if the sales growth is uh, increasing uh, wall street loved those stocks here now it's not the case anymore look one of my favorite stock here mongo db look at the sales growth nice 30 percent sales growth here and net margin is negative and this company also um, solvency ratio is 17 per negative 17 percent that tells you a little bit uh, not so great from a financial perspective and they're um, issuing more stocks than buying back that's why it's a low um, buyback yield here and mongodb as you can see here this also has got a high price to sales ratio which is the uh, 22 as you can see here that tells you you know companies uh, right here 22 that tells you it's very pricey from a valuation perspective you know there is no love in the wall street for such companies look stock has been clobbered as you can see here but if you're a long term investor you could uh, buy mongo db it's a great company uh, i can see somebody buying this company uh, and uh, stock going higher but short term wall street does not have any patience for such companies and we got few more here look sentinel here which is a uh, 
you know cyber security company uh look there's no love for this one also here uh it's solvency ratio is negative 86 percent not great from a financial perspective and net margin is negative 132 percent company is not making money so that's why you got to be careful here and also eps earnings per share is also negative and we got you know a few more names here look robin hood this used to be uh, making some headline news back uh, you know last year but look what's going on here robin hood came down to earth here look at uh, six month performance here negative 73 percent and this company has got uh, negative earnings per share wall street does not like it even though um, sales growth perspective robin hood let's see here robin hood uh, there is no sales growth here but look uh, there is eps negative here there is no earnings and look companies uh, issuing more stock than retiring um, negative 23 percent from a buyback yield perspective that tells you companies really issuing more stocks which is not more stock which is not good solvency ratio is also negative tells you financially it's not a great company and then you got a few more here we will not uh, look at all of them but uh, you get the idea so wall street does not have patience for high price to sales ratios with a negative eps um, and also stocks companies that are issuing more stocks you know then retiring you look at the solvency ratio uh, buyback ratio here and all these stocks have got negative solvency ratio financially not great all right so we got one more here lemonade same story here this used to be darling while ago but the company could not prove uh, it's metal that's why stock is coming down here look uh, it's a negative net margin here negative 188 percent as you can see here and look they're also diluting the share count uh, issuing a lot of stocks as you can see here and solvency ratio is uh, deeply in the negative tells the company does not have uh, you know, enough resources from a financial perspective all right so let's uh, look at few more companies and go from there look the list continues here we got few more as you can see here and we got FREQ here frequency one dollar stock same story here look they got a uh, uh, negative solvency ratio here uh, company has got negative earnings per share not great and we got a few more as you can see here so you got to be careful with such names here um, some companies have got positive sales growth here but this used to be okay a couple of years ago but now there is no patience when the company is losing money look earnings per share is negative net margin is uh, deeply into negative here and also look uh, we got here free cash flow all these companies have got negative free cash flow look carnival cruise line here look at the negative cash flow here such a huge negative cash flow minus 8.3 billion dollars in negative cash flow here you got to be careful with such names and few companies pay too much interest rate here you got one right here tsp too simple look they're paying uh, uh let's see here uh not too simple the one before that um the company right here zy they're paying a high interest rate here you got to be careful with such names here uh, zy is paying 15 percent um you know interest rate as you can see here all right now what we'll do is uh, we'll look at uh, two companies in little more detail look we got lemonade here lemonade used to be wall street darling while ago um, it's got uh, uh, look it's got various insurance products as you can see here in united states and europe and they also provide personal liability and uh, renters homeowners homeowner owners insurance as well as landlord insurance policies look what's going on here look uh, earnings per share perspective company is going to more and more red here i like to see some positive trend but there is no positive trend year over year it's a negative trend which is not good look from a sales perspective companies uh, having some sales growth here but you know this uh, just sales growth does not cut it in this market and they're also issuing more shares here look they're uh, diluting their share count heavily which is not great it's all about supply and demand this company is really uh, polluting or diluting the share count by supplying more stock which is not good and look from a debt perspective this company is issuing more debt here that's also not good here 2020 no debt almost no debt here 2021 they bulked up and increased the debt which is not great and look stock has been dropping off uh, like a dead rock here it's a big time down 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 here right now it's a trading range earnings is coming up next week or so but look um, there is nothing much movement here stock is kind of trying to go sideways on the balance volume is also trending lower and look uh, we got your operating margin and net margin trend is low here or down we want net margin to be positive
negative here these guys are going to more negative in the net margin which is not good so even though there is one positive here from a sales perspective um, but it's a negative from a earnings per share shares outstanding more debt on the balance sheet and net margin is negative and it's not improving so that's why it's not great and look lemonade stock came down by 21 percent in uh, just in april and uh, one of the competitors select quote uh, they also did not do great that's why the whole insurance industry here when it comes to you know personal liability not doing great and companies like lemonade which are losing money big time there is no patience from wall street that's why you got to be careful with such companies all right now let's look at um, earnings history on a quarter to quarter basis look uh, this these folks are losing money as you can see here um, negative 1.08 uh, in the last two quarters and looks like they're beating the earnings per share um, guidance and they're also beating uh, the revenue side of the house but look they also missed the earnings a couple of times look they missed uh, two times here so that's why you got to be careful can there be a small bounce yes but wall street does not like negative earnings per share companies and negative free cash flow companies that's why you got to be careful here all right now let's look at one more company robin hood many of you might have known robin hood here these guys are a, a stock broker or a securities broker as you can see here they are into stocks etfs options gold and so on and so forth and also they're venturing into cryptocurrency as you can see here look what's going on here earnings per share perspective companies are not making it they're losing more money they're bleeding as you can see here sales is uh, doing okay here it's increasing but uh, not as much as we like to see and look shares outstanding they're keeping it constant which is not bad they're not diluting the share count too much and look from a stock chart perspective stock is uh, not getting any love from wall street it's been coming down on the balance volume is also down as you can see here operating margin is negative look negative 80 percent not great net margin is also negative as you can see here not a good sign here we want stock to have a good uh, good uh, bottom line here they, we want nice margin nice nice efficiency and also no, nice top line here so top line is okay but not great but bottom line is not great at all that's why stock is coming down here look robin hood goes all out to stop bleeding but look what's going on here the gen z it's a target audience they're really uh, going out and uh, abandoning the firm little by little that's why robin hood does not have a catalyst at this time and they're also losing money big time so i say try to avoid it if possible all right now let's look at the earnings history look robin hood uh, they missed two times or three times here on the eps basis here and they also missed three times on the on the um, revenues revenue basis so you got to be careful here it's a trend here so wall street is expecting this uh, company not to do great here there is also people going out um, and uh, not liking their platform so that's why you got to be careful here so that's why i say be very careful here if possible try to avoid such stocks and go from there all right now let's uh, look at a conclusion here from a conclusion perspective when the institutions sell the stock um, it shows uh, the lack of lack of conviction not really conviction um, so we got to be careful here when the when the institutions are selling that's really lack of conviction so we should really avoid such names here and it's generally good idea to avoid uh, stocks that are fundamentally bad like robin hood and lemonade and uh, high insider and institutional selling uh, so you got to avoid such stocks here especially in this market uh, there is no love for such companies we want to see solid companies not negative sales growth and negative earnings growth companies um, and also companies with negative uh, free cash flow here you know a few examples here you know right to avoid here we got uh, robin hood uh, s which is uh, sentinel which is cyber security stock axnx odns be big lemonade all are negative uh, rings per share uh, negative free cash flow and they're issuing more stock than uh, than um, than retiring they're diluting their share count i say be very careful try to avoid such names so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe